<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back reviewing a uh, new assault rifle brought out by Tifa, who is uh, a new guy over on the Borderlands 2 community kit hub. This is his first release uh, and uh, this one is called the Killer Wasp, uh, which is a modded version of the Chopper. Uh, as you can see, this is a very interesting uh, concept on a weapon. Uh, this is by all means not the most damaging or fast killing way of killing people, but it is for sure just completely different and interesting in the fact that it shoots out hive shots. Now this is a very fast fire rate and a high magazine. Look, you've got 211 projectiles, uh, sorry, bullets in your magazine which shoot out hive projectiles and uh, they can all be shot down at the same time if you really wanted to uh, depending on how good your computer is because obviously this can turn into a massive lag fest if you really don't have a high spec PC uh, luckily I do and it's managed to cope pretty well with it but look at the absolute carnage caused in there it's just I'm completely crazy this is an absolute dream for uh, high mob areas trash mobs especially uh, but even bigger uh, enemies can be put down quite easily with the right uh, cocktail shall we say of uh, elements um, so obviously you want to maybe put down a layer of slag and then shock strip the shields and get the damage there and then uh, the fire and the corrosive will take care of the rest but uh, yeah this is pretty funny pretty interesting and i like to bring all sorts of different mods to you not just the serious let's go and kill people who really have a have a hard time but look at my weapon because it does this sometimes it's like well let's just lay a carpet of carnage down on the floor and watch mobs just absolutely melt in front of you uh, and that's what this one is so we're going to be looking at the killer wasp and as always we're going to be starting off by showing you guys exactly how to get it so as always you can head over to the Borderlands 2 community get up and navigate your way there yourself or you can click on the link in the description to take you uh, straight to it. Uh, if you're navigating uh, there yourself, click on Borderlands 2 mods on the Borderlands 2 gear hub and then head down to Tifa's section right here. And like I said, once you click on that, you'll only find one entry in there at the minute and that is the Killer Wasp. So click on that, which will bring up the weapons information page telling you everything you need to know as well as the code itself to change uh, your weapon into the Killer Wasp. Click on the raw tab, right click, save as, save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Remember what you've saved it as and then come in the game open the console commands up and then apply it uh, right there and if successfully done you will have yourself a killer wasp which uh, I have here they come in all elements uh, as you can see nice little showcase right here let's pick one to have an overview for maybe the fire one I can't remember which one I chose it doesn't really matter uh, yeah the golden fire one uh, so yeah you'll see now it's now a uh, purple rarity uh, dark purple rarity Beast stings uh, one time, wasp stings multiple times is the red text right there. Bit of fact, biologic, biological facts for you maybe right there. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, they do come in all elements and these are handy for different situations. But uh, yeah, one shot will send out a hive projectile, which obviously for those of you that don't know, the hive is a rocket launcher you can get from Saturn. And uh, when you shoot this ball, it kind of drops to any surface and then it will spin and shoot out different uh, directions but basically it will shoot everywhere completely surround you now it's different when you actually manage to apply many many different things uh, at once uh, once again single shot any area it will shoot into the air it will shoot at the floor onto walls when you shoot out more you'll obviously get more projectiles and then obviously like you've seen in the uh, opening scene when you shoot out an absolute shed load of these uh, you will really really cause a lot of damage now obviously be very careful because these can harm you as well so make sure that you're shooting them away from yourself or to a different level they will only go a certain distance though so don't think you can stand say at the top of this ramp right here and then uh, shoot down towards the maybe boom booms arena and get people down there uh, they will travel quite a long way once spawned if you get what i mean the actual projectiles on the seat they're getting attacked down there from right up here but the actual main balls themselves will uh, only travel a certain distance away from you before actually sending out the projectiles, which you can see right there is going to cause absolute mayhem. So let's get on with some kills then, and uh, I'll go into this weapon in a bit more detail. 
So we are going to be staying in Southern Shell for this. I'm just going to be having a nice easy run through uh, this area and uh, just having a chill out really. Not going to be concentrating on too much serious killing because obviously like you'll understand it does take quite a while to get kills with this thing uh, by laying all of the bullets down but uh, I'm going to try my best anyway. So the Killer Wasp, like I said, is made by Tifa. This is his first weapon made and maybe in future he will make more, who knows. Uh, this will replace a chopper with a Bandic E-Tech assault rifle shooting hive projectiles. Uh, he's removed the automatic burst fire effect so you can control the fire rate, um, which is very good actually because you want to actually uh, lay these down where you want to really and not have them all burst out into the same area. It's good to just uh, actually, you know, wiggle a little bit when you're shooting them just to get them all separated, but it doesn't really matter too much. They'll still shoot the same amount of stuff out um, at this enemy. He's also tweaked the damage on this thing as well, uh, as well as the consumption per shots. He's uh, tweaked the spread of fire and the clip size, uh, as well as a few other things. He did try giving it a hive skin, but it didn't really come out the way he wanted, as he's not able to uh, make custom skins yet to res uh, resemble it. Um, and he personally suggests balancing your shots with this, uh, because if you spam it too much, you can make your game lag. If you spawn too many hives in, uh, you can also get yourself killed, which I've already gone over. This will spawn in all elements, and at the start he wanted it to only spawn corrosive. But he changed the idea, uh, and the hives with other elements are just cool as well. So obviously, in the actual hive, uh, the rocket launcher, you can only get it in corrosive. But luckily, now it's open to all elements, which as you can see, I sorry, I just temporarily looked away from my screen to read that, and then looked back and I just saw that poor little shack there, just an element fest of different colours. Uh, this thing is really funny and you can absolutely push it to the limit if you really want to. I've not yet actually, look you can see the shots coming all the way over here from that uh, hut over there which is quite a long distance. So these, them things do travel pretty good uh, and they are absolutely great homing shots as well. They will just find an enemy and just go for it. Uh, so it's pretty cool really. I like to just shoot them all up into the air to be honest just so they make sure they find the way. They will go in any direction they want. It's not just a straight, you know, left, right, forward, backwards. It will go anywhere in the, uh, as long as there's an enemy there, it will shoot for it. I have not yet tried to unload a whole clip into uh, the air at once. I think by the time you actually finished it, uh, the first couple would be gone anyway. But, you know, that would be quite funny to actually see. Like I said at the beginning as well, it is good to get a bit of a process with this. So if you're in a high mobbed area with loads of different enemies, um, the best thing to do is uh, save you with uh, human enemies, something like that. Lay down a blanket of slag um, just to get the uh, enemy slagged up. And then lay down a blanket of uh, sh shock hives to strip shields off. And then just put a load of fire down and let them uh, burn to a crisp. Again, with a high load of population, you want to uh, put corrosive down at the end. But either way, they'll uh, do the job pretty well. And uh, yeah, you can just have some serious amounts of fun with this. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed. A little bit of a different weapon today um, on Borderlands 2 for the modded weapon guide from Tifa called the Killer Wasp. Fear the Hive. Thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.